money, I'm revving. Great, just protecting my investment. Ask about me, integrity's not a question. Me Too Fighting Series fans, this amateur middleweight bout is set for five rounds at three minutes apiece. And it is for the B2 Amateur Middleweight Title! First, fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner. His record stands at four wins and five losses. His height, six feet, one inch. His weight, 185 pounds. He trains with Dayton Vision MMA and Georges Gergel MMA and comes to you from Hoover Heights, Ohio. His name is Tussle Connor Jr. And his opponent, out of the one more gym red corner. His record stands at three wins and one loss. His height, six feet, two inches. His weight, 184 pounds. He trains with hybrid martial arts and comes to you from Lexington, Kentucky. His name is Peyton the Handyman All right, gentlemen, this is for the B2 Fighting Series Middleweight Championship. We've been through the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up if you want. Tosh O'Connor Jr. in the white and red Muay Thai shorts. Peyton Hughes in the white trunks. Touch the gloves here. Both guys coming out. Ooh, good jab. Oh, good Peyton said he was going to keep his distance and counter. He did not. He has not done that yet. Ooh. Tussle Connor Jr. checks the, the first leg kick. Yep. Peyton notices and comes underneath to the right leg immediately after. Oh, did Peyton dro he no. dropped? No, he didn't. He didn't. He, he, he stooped down to get the body lock. He grazed him, but he didn't rock him at all. Tussle Connor Jr. on this body lock here. Peyton Hughes is starting to work the left side underhook in. But this is what Tussle talked about, man. Yes. Grinding Peyton out. He said he knows he's slick on the ground, but he can grind him out up against the cage and take him into deep waters. I feel like Peyton needs to get off the cage. He's good here, but I feel like he needs to get off the cage and work his distance and counter strike Tussle. Tussle Connor Jr. doing a good job. He's got he his left side underhook and also controlling with his right hand, the left hand of Peyton Hughes. So he's got knees to Peyton's, there you go. Beautiful. I was just gonna say that, beautiful knee to the inside thigh of Peyton Hughes. Eli Mefford animated in the corner. <laughs> Eli Mefford's always animated in the corner. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's an animated individual in <laughs> yeah, the way, right? Um, Trying to work maybe, but work I, Bobby Wambacher to break it in this up. But I think Peyton, and you're not gonna you're not gonna talk Bobby Wambeck from doing anything. Um, but I believe Peyton's just taking his time, right? He's not breathing hard. He's yeah. like, hey man, I'm here. I'm okay right Wise here. I'm not, Wise yeah, move. Yeah, I'm not in danger in anything. Now Tussle could be in danger with that standing guillotine. No, nah, he doesn't, man. Good job by Tussle. His head's in the perfect situation. And Eli did Good work job. Bobby Wambacher. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he he did. did. Thank you, Eli. And Eli says, thank you, ref. See? I, look, man, I feel like Peyton's kind of getting sloppy. He's got to stay on the outside and pick his shots. Make this a technical fight. One, two, three there for Peyton Hughes. Good see, head at the, movement. At the 185. Oh, oh that oh. lands on oh, the double head kicks. And this is Peyton's best chance here to finish this fight. But... It's Tussle Connor Jr. already back in. Peyton's head kicks. Well, look, there's a knee there. If he would have posted, if he would have posted right there and threw that knee. Oh, see, right there. 40 seconds remaining in this first round. Good head position here from Peyton Hughes. And Tussle Connor Jr. is able and to. That's, and that's grinding too, man. Yes. You know that head position right there? It's uncomfortable. It sucks. Ooh, good knee to the right inside thigh. Ooh, good. that knee up top landed. 
And Peyton is just able to hurt you from so many spots. He's all around dangerous and anywhere the fight goes, man. The only thing, I, if I'm Eli Mefford, if I'm his corner, I'm telling him, calm down. Yes. Calm down. Pick your shots. Look, set up them head kicks, right? We're at the 185-pound division. Everybody has power in their hands. Everybody has power on their feet. You ha you cannot walk the stairs up when you're throwing a one-two and get caught by Tussle. Tussle needs – he's doing great. I think he needs to go back to making this thing dirty up against the cage where he's got Peyton up against, pressed up against the cage and, and really grinding this thing out to see if he can't get it to the fourth or fifth round. And Tussle Connor Jr. said, I'm willing to grind it out and go into deep waters. I wonder I, – I, we need to figure out if Peyton is – I would have to say yes. Peyton is willing to go into deep waters for this belt. But I've noticed, too, Tussle is doing his hands like this, right? The up and down. You know, that's a big no-no in striking, right? Right. And Peyton's timing that. That's when he's throwing them head kicks. When he drops it, he's, he'll have his hands up. Tussle Connor Jr. will have his hands up, and he'll drop it. As soon as he drops an inch or two, Peyton's throwing that head kick. And Peyton will throw that jab, and then that head kick, I think he'll have better results than what he's trying to do. Referee Bobby Weinbacher saying thirds out. Peyton's breathing a little hard in the in the corner there for the yeah he is. only being between the first and second round. But that could be technique as well. So, right. I mean, you know, he looked fresh. He looked good in the first round. Tussle's fine. He's ready to go. Second of a potential five rounds here. This B2 Fighting Series middleweight championship bout. Touch the gloves here. Both guys orthodox again. He's got to set them kicks up. That jab. Peyton's got to go. Oh, oh the big right hand. Oh, that's top. Huge right hand. Yeah, that landed flush. He ate it really well, but you can't take too many of them. No. Oh. Peyton leaping in with the left hook. Good shot by yeah, Tussle Connor. Good sprawl, though. Yeah, it was a good sprawl. I was about to say. That yes. was a lightning fast shot and an even better sprawl. Right. He's got the underhooks. He's got the over 100. He's got the 100%. Going back to the over under 100%. Yeah, it's going to be difficult for Tussle Connor Jr. to finish this with Peyton Hughes on that underhook there. If Peyton's smart and just work, you know, controls his breathing, this can't, I mean, this can be taxing to Peyton. Yes. And it can be taxing to Tussle as well, but if Peyton just calms down, controls his breathing, he's not in any danger. I don't see Tussle taking him down at any time. But Tussle's doing right, right? He's correct. He, he, he's he's suffocating Peyton. He's making Peyton work. He's making Peyton ride his weight. And them uppercuts are hurting Tussle. Yes. They're getting through. Yes, they are. And Peyton very wisely keeping that underhook there. As long as he's got that underhook under the right arm of Tussle right. Connor Jr., he's in no danger of being taken. Out. That hurt. See, he came up, man. Them punches were getting through on the left side of Tussle. Well, Tussle Connor Jr. said he, he's that Peyton is small for 185. I, I, honestly, I would disagree. He's a big dude, and he's strong, and he hits hard. Yeah, I think once he saw him in the cage, he was probably because he looked yeah, at him like, yeah, that. he's like, hold on a minute, because he. I think where he got that is, is he was just saying, hey man, you know, Peyton's never fought at 185. Right. I have. So I think really, to be honest with you, I think Peyton's bigger than Tussle. Oh, Peyton landing oh, big shots, the big, big right shot. hand lands. And Peyton's throwing shots on his knees. Tussle's, Tussle's back. throwing back. They're Peyton with the, the knee. knee. Bobby Wambacher's looking at this. He's making this up in this fight. This is Peyton's moment. He's got to finish this fight right but now. The high guard. This is it. Peyton Hughes is the middleweight champion of the B2 Fighting Series. What a finish. Man. But look, man. Look. Tussle was blocking a lot of them shots, man. Tussle was fine. There's nothing wrong with him. Great stoppage by Bobby Wambacher. I think Tussle's still in the fight, to be honest with you. And I was just about to say before he stopped the fight, Peyton's got to be careful. If he does not finish that fight, yes. he's going to gas himself out, man. That, that was his moment for sure. He picked. He, that was it. But you noticed, every time he hit Tussle with something, a head kick, a punch, you saw a different mentality with Tussle, right? Yes. On every connection. Peyton Hughes hits like a freight train, man. And, and, and this this guy, man, once he puts everything together, he's, he's a danger. He's going to be a problem. That man is a steamroller on a one-way track.
He's getting that belt. It's coming home with Peyton Hughes tonight. You have a new amateur middleweight champion in the B2 Fighting Series. Here is ring announcer Lance Green to give that man his gold. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Bobby Wambacher, has called a stop to this fight. Two minutes and seven seconds into the second round. Your winner by TKO and new B2 amateur middleweight champion out of the red corner, Peyton the Handyman Hugh. All the way up with the same ones that was down from the jump. Day one, same ones been around when the ain't funds even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one.